More on the sacred design at Giza. This time we're going to look at the Western Tomb Field. Okay, so here's a, a Google Earth shot that I've been working with. And uh, so you can see here, over here, this is the Western Tomb Field, just west of the Great Pyramid. All right, that's the tomb of Hemiunu. And you can see that the uh, parallel white lines that come off of the Hemiunu tomb there go right through the center of the Great Pyramid and through the Hemiunu template in blue there. Okay. So, let's take a closer look at that. So you can see the uh, there's two sections of tombs basically here, and that the 513 feet of the upper tombs over the 317 feet of the lower grouping of tombs comes exactly to 1.618. That's the phi proportion. So you've got phi hidden in the way these tombs are arranged here. And uh, just to show you the Google Earth, you can see the yellow line there. It shows it's 317 feet across that lower group of tombs. And you can see it's 517 feet. That's the Google Earth shot across the upper. All right. So if we take the angle here, it's basically pi, 3.14. And all of those tombs are offset by 3.14. I've just always assumed that those were directly west of the Great Pyramid. Everything's all going straight east and west because, you know, the Great Pyramid or orients everything, you know, north and south and east and west. No, these tombs are cocked. They're cocked at 3.14 degrees. Pi is hidden there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So you got pi and you got phi. Okay. Now, at the top there, you've got three rows of eight. So there's 24 tombs up there. And this bottom section, you've got three rows of six tombs. So there's 18. Okay, 24 times 18 is 432. 432, the Toth constant, as Robert Grant calls it. You've got all these 432s, the hours in a day, and the sun's radius, the golden angle. 432 is everywhere. And at the base of the Great Pyramid, you got 43.2 for Menkara, 40, 30, 432 divided by 2. For Khafre, for Khufu, you got 432. So 432, it's a constant that's used constantly at Giza. So there's the, the Giza Western Field. So you've got pi, you've got phi, and you've got 432, the Toth constant. Amazing. Let's look a little bit at the relationship of pi and phi, okay? Oh, yeah, but this is all just by chance, of course, you know. Come on, Egyptologists, see the sacred design. All right, so the relationship of pi and phi. So you take the circle and the square, you know, Heaven, the circle eternity, square is earth, anciently. Okay, and it's the circles uh, uh, inscribed within the square, or the square is exoscribed from the circle. And then let's make this be a unit circle, so we'll say it has a radius of 1. Okay, so that means the square is going to have a perimeter of uh, 8, because it's got sides of 2. So the area of the circle is basically pi, 3.14, because it's, you know, pi r squared, 1 squared is 1. So, so you've got that is the area of the circle, and the area of the square, of course, is 2 times 2. It's 4. Okay. So if you take that area of 4 and divide it by pi, basically, the area of the circle, you get 1.272. And 1.272 is the square root of phi. So you've got pi, obviously, because this is a circle. You've got the pi there, but now you have built into this square in the circle the square root of phi. And let's be reminded, if you take the Great Pyramid here, and let's look at just at that half of it right there. So there's the Great Pyramid. If you take the base, the half base to be 1, so making that, that a unit, then the apothem is phi, and the height of the Great Pyramid would proportionally be the square root of phi, 1.272. So you have pi, phi, and the Great Pyramid, the heights of the Great Pyramid built into phi and pi. Wow.